Hey everybody, my name's Blaine and you're watching Flat Broke Outdoors. I have gotten an opportunity to test a piece of gear from offroadinggear.com. This is the Trekway truck bed air mattress and my truck is a 2011 F-150 with a five and a half foot truck bed, 5.5. So they sent this out to me and I thought, you know that'd be something good to bring to my channel you know not everybody has uh, a truck camper a rooftop tent all that stuff and they just don't need it they can't see having all of that but they would still like to get out and use the bed of their truck for camping so i thought that i would bring this to y'all on my channel just in case you need something of this nature now let's get this unboxed and take a look at it now offroadinggear.com they have truck bed tents they have suv tents they have recovery gear i urge y'all to check them out offroadinggear.com let's see right out of the gate it would appear we have a pump to air this bad boy up and it is a 12 volt pump so that is perfect you can air it up with the cigarette lighter in your vehicle if you have a power station anything of that nature you're going to be in business and it does have different fittings for different things so not only can you use this pump on this air mattress you can use it for anything else you need to put some air into so let me pull this bad boy out <coughs> excuse me got a pretty sturdy it's nylon but it, it feels tough like canvas I believe it's nylon let's see what we got here kids all right let's see what but we got an instruction manual in here of some description. Let's see what we got. All right. Truckway truck mattresses. It tells you everything's supposed to be in the bag. There's a repair kit, one mattress, one 12 volt air pump, and the carrying case. And this pump actually inflates and deflates both. So no more laying across the the uh, mattress trying to squeeze all the air out of it so you can get it back in the bag and what do we got here this just tells you a little bit more about uh off-road off-roading gear.com oh it's nice they sent me a sticker i will definitely use that and what have we got here two repair kits or two patches all right so we're gonna put this back in the bag all right y'all looks like quite a bit of stuff in there we'll uh, get this mattress out of the bag and see what we're working with it's a little bit breezy out here i don't want my disposables flying away all right got kind of a felt feeling to the top side of it and then the rubbery feeling to the bottom like every other air mattress that you've ever seen. All right, y'all. What do you say we get this in the back of the truck and get it aired up? I'll be right back with you. All right, everybody. We're here at the back of the truck. We're going to, I've got my power station here to run the pump. We'll, uh, we'll get this bad boy unfolded see what we're working with. I'm going to set this box out of the way. Stay. All right, guys. It looks like the uh, the cutouts for the wheel wells on the inside. It looks like those. If you need to use this mattress, like say in a tent or even in your rooftop tent, wherever, you can actually air these up separately. So that is something handy to know. I was not aware of that. 
So let's get this thing set up here the way it should be. I tell you what, this thing is heavy duty for sure. So here's the valve. Let me undo this cable here. I'm not exactly sure which of these we need for this one. Is it that guy? Yeah, it'll be the first one, the bigger one. It is so handy to have all those different sizes. I can't tell you how many times I've <coughs> been out camping with an air mattress and not had the right size. All right, we got 12 volt power. Let me find the on off switch. All right. If y'all bear with me for a second, this is going to be a little bit noisy, but we're going to get this bad boy aired up. All right, y'all, that was easy enough. Let me get y'all a good view of this. All right, everybody, here is the final product all aired up. It fits the bed of this truck perfectly. Now, I have ordered other truck bed air mattresses with the cutouts like this for this size truck bed, and they just didn't fit. And uh, I, I just ended up giving them away. So anyway, it's a perfect fit. So now the test is, how does it sleep? So I will sleep on this tonight after I get it all made up. And then I will give you a report back in the morning of how it went. Thanks for watching. All right, Joe. We got, we're beginning to get some resemblance of a setup going here. And I'm sure some of y'all are thinking I slick, slipped a cog the way I got this awning set up. But let me tell you what happened. The last time I was camping on my last video, I had this turned around the opposite way, you know, coming off. I think it was coming off the trailer. Anyway, my fire was there. And when it started raining, that rain was slowly putting out that fire and creating a bunch of smoke. Well, I was sitting under the... Uh, awning and all that smoke was coming under there and this was in the evening before I went to bed and all that crazy wet nasty smoke just gave me such a headache I couldn't fall asleep my head was pounding it uh, it was a horrible nightmare is what it was but uh, when I got here and I got started to set up the wind is coming at my back and the fire is back there, so I told myself, I'll just flip-flop that tarp and do my cooking and stuff under here and keep all the smoke out from under here. So that's why it's set up like it is. I have not slipped a cog or hit a crack pipe. I'm just trying to do what best fits me, and this is it. So everything should be good. Uh, I still got quite a bit of stuff to set up. I'm in no rush. We actually got out here pretty early today. So, uh, but time is ticking because I want to cook a beef stew tonight and I need to get that on. So, you know, stew meat is generally pretty tough. So, uh, I'd like it to have, you know, quite a long time to simmer and tender that meat up some. But anyway, I just want to bring y'all up to speed on why it looks like this. But we are still going to have a fire and all the things that go along with camping. We're just going to do the kitchen in reverse this time. But anyway, I'll get back with y'all in a minute. Hey, everybody, welcome back. I just wanted to bring y'all over. You know, I was just by this campsite a few days back, three or four days ago, and everything was clean. You know, it was really nice. But somebody has stayed here in the last little while, and they left us all this garbage in here. And I will get all that cleaned up before we build a fire in here for sure. And I'll rake some of these old leaves back. And there's some, some garbage over here. But... All in all, it's not horrible. I've been in a lot worse campsites for sure. But anyway, I just want to show you all that. And there's the, the backside of the big top right there. Our local Walmart store 
everybody's got those dollar bin barbecue sauces and hot sauces well they put ours on sale for 25 cents so we have quite the selection to choose from so we will be going through these over the next few uh, videos and trying to work our way through so i know some of them are going to be too hot and some of them ain't going to be hot enough but hopefully they all got good flavor but anyway that's where we're at now i did put a little coffee on the boil and i'll go ahead and tell you now that when i found my uh, coffee pot it didn't have the top the top that goes on here so what i'm doing i'm heating water over there and then i'm going to use this old school coffee pot as a pour over so i'm just going to slowly pour that hot water i'm making right there into here and i'm still going to have good coffee so y'all can laugh at me if you want to but i'm going to be the one sitting here drinking coffee in the camp anyway i'll get back with y'all in a little while hey y'all welcome back i got my stew meat going here and really all it was was a stew meat dredged in a little flour put just a little bit of coconut oil in this pot i'm gonna brown that off and then i'll add some water and seasoning and some vegetables after that and then we'll just let this bad boy simmer for a while till the meat gets right and by the time it's time to eat we should be good i did get my coffee all made my uh, Redneck Riviera pour over worked just fine. I'm also going to make some biscuits to go with this. And I'm probably just going to make them in my uh, Coleman oven. It's the easiest way for me to do it out here for sure. Especially with all this wind. If I tried to do it over the fire, I don't think I'd be able to keep the wind off of it. It's hard enough to keep the wind off of this. It's still creeping right around the back side of this unit and whooping up in here and keeping my fire turned down some. But we'll get through it anyway that's all for now all right everybody this is the offroadinggear.com truck bed air mattress all made up and ready for the night i will let y'all know in the morning how i slept thanks for watching all right y'all welcome back we got the beef stew doing what stew does here in the pot simmering away trying to get that meat tender because i took a Took a bite of one of them pieces of meat a little bit earlier, probably about 20 minutes ago, 15 or 20 minutes ago. And boy, that thing was tougher than the Tombstone Territory. You couldn't eat that with borrowed teeth. But the longer we simmer, the better it's going to get. Hey, y'all, welcome back. Boy, supper turned out good. That beef stew was right on time. My biscuits were a little bit on the dark side, but I didn't mind at all. So now I got the dishes done, all that taken care of, it's time for a little fire sitting. So I'll see y'all by the fire. Hey everybody, welcome back. It has been a good evening, but I do believe it is about time to turn in. The fire is winding down and so am I. So I guess I will see y'all in the morning for coffee. Good morning, everybody. I am just cooking up some uh, turkey bacon and a little bit of chicken sausage. Trying to make as much noise as I can with this spatula. Yeah, it's a pretty chilly morning. I don't know. I guess it's chilly to me. Just because it's been so warm here. It's, I don't know, probably in the low 40s, I would guess. But a little bit crisp. But I do have a fire going around there. But I had to come check on my bacon, so I thought I would let y'all know what was going on this morning i slept pretty good on the uh 
on that truck bed mattress. That was surprising. It was very comfortable. Probably, uh, probably the first air mattress I ever slept on that didn't stretch in the night. You know, a lot of times when people sleep on air mattresses, they think they have lost air overnight when it's just the material <clears throat> stretching. But that one, it stayed firm all night. So it wasn't too bad. I'm not used to sleeping in the back of the truck. But uh, it was comfortable. I was highly surprised. So uh, if y'all are in the market for such an item I do believe I could recommend the offroadinggear.com truck bed mattress I had no problems with it whatsoever I think we'll uh, after breakfast we'll slowly pack this stuff up and I don't know if I'm shining that right in your eyes or not sorry about that <clears throat> excuse me but anyway we'll pack this stuff up and uh get on home it's been a good little overnight for sure I stayed up pretty late last night around the fire it was just such a nice night it was a little bit cool but not cold it was just comfortable I think it's uh, I think there's like a 40 40 percent chance of rain today but hopefully it won't be this morning there's a lot of stars out still so hopefully I can get all this packed up before the rain comes it took me Two days to get everything dried out from the last trip. My stuff was drenched. But anyway, that's kind of what we got going on this morning. I'll uh, get back with y'all in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Flat Broke Outdoors. I just wanted to give you my final thoughts on the Trekway truck bed air mattress from offroadinggear.com. I had a restful night's sleep. It did not stretch. It didn't lose any air. It was the same when I woke up as it was when I went to bed. It was comfortable. And like anything else that I review, uh, I'll give you my initial thought, which I like it. It worked great for me. Fit my truck bed perfect. But in a few months, I will give you a, a, an after-action review a little better than this. You know, you, you really can't tell from one night of sleeping how long something's going to last, if it's going to continue to perform the way it did the first time. But I will put some effort into it, and I will use it at least for 30 days, and I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody, welcome back. I got everything packed up, ready to roll. I've had this drizzling nuisance rain for about, I don't know, an hour and a half or something. It, it's raining just hard enough, you don't even realize that you're getting wet until you're soaked. But anyway, we got everything packed up. We've had a good time, and I guess I'll see you next time in the woods.